As I rode out on a summer's morning, as the day was dawning to take the air, I espied a damsel, both fair and handsome, and she advancing with her golden hair. I viewed her beauty with admiration, no other fair maid I do adore. If I don't gain her, let none disdain her. She's the blooming fair one from Castle Four. Being a humble peasant, not educated, but captivated, as you may see. I can't describe her virgin beauty without perusing on history. I read of Paris and chased Diana and Cleopatra in the days of yore. I saw none can equal this matchless creature. She's the blooming fair one from Castle Four. Had Pharaoh seen her when in his glory, the Grecian queen he would despise. He'd never trample on King Menelaus, nor give to Venus the golden prize. He'd collect his forces and cross the ocean and land the Trojans on Aaron's shores. He then would wander like the famed Leander to seek the grandeur of Castle Four. Had the great O'Connell seen this fair lady, when his monster meetings he carried on, in different stations he'd challenge nations to find an equal for this lovely one. He'd call a meeting in this fair one's honour where St. Keelan's banner does proudly soar and spread her fame in the nation's papers and circulate it around Castle Four. Now to end my praises I will spend my days in a silent stupor and a reverie. But to every maiden of virtue laden, I will not deny you my company. But I pray don't envy this virtuous fair one, though once the pride of Aaron's shore. Although your beauty be somewhat eclipsed by this blooming fair one 
from Castle Four.